Patrick Girondi grew up in Chicago's South Side, and he learned from an early age about survival and determination. He went on to have much personal and financial success. Life was good until his son was diagnosed with a rare disease, and he found himself in the ultimate battle to save his child's life. His book is called Flight of the Rondone, High School Dropout versus Big Pharma, The Fight to Save My Son's Life, and Patrick Girondi joins us live. Patrick, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So tell us uh, about your story growing up on the South Side is interesting and, uh, and, and how you found success. Let's start there. Uh, yeah, I'm from the South Side, just a typical kid from the South Side of Chicago. And uh, all of the wonderful challenges that I met as a youth, all of the different um, things that most people call uh, horrible uh, situations really were the key things that made me who I am today. And I'm very happy for all of them. Well, the success allowed you to try and uh, fight this disease or try to find some answers to this disease for your son. Um, obviously, you didn't have the expertise. What was the challenge of uh, finding whatever it is you were looking for? And, and tell us about what degree of success you achieved. Yeah, so um, I'm a high school dropout. The last high school I went to was De La Salle on the south side. Before that, I went to St. Joseph Seminary, actually, in Oak Brook. It's no longer around. Um, so when my, when my son was diagnosed, I got miles and miles of faxes, uh, hematology uh, material. Uh, in faxes, I learned whatever I could. I met a researcher from the University of Boston. We did some experimental medicine on my son to avoid transfusions in the early 90s when you really needed to avoid transfusions because of the AIDS and hepatitis C in the blood. Um, and then I was lucky enough to meet a French researcher named Michel Settelin. He worked at Memorial Sloan Kettering. I began the waltz with him basically in 2010. My company, San Rocco Therapeutics, delivered the world's first commercial batch of gene therapy for, for six sickle cell disease and thalassemia. I say sickle cell disease and not thalassemia first because in the United States there's 100,000 sickle cell disease patients. Mostly they get ignored, by the way. Um, there's about 2,500 thalassemic patients, which is what my son has. That's also called the Mediterranean anemia or Cooley's anemia. Um, and we began, uh, uh, we were getting ready for clinical trials. Um, and the whole project got sabotaged. I didn't realize this fully until almost 2018. In 2020, we settled out of court um, with Bluebird Bio, uh, basically the company that sabotaged uh, the product. Unfortunately, my story is one of probably hundreds, if not thousands of stories for the pharmaceutical companies. You know, today, um, not only patients, uh, but also the nurses and the doctors very often are victims of the executives at the pharmaceutical industry, a lot like our education department or uh, our education in the United States, in my opinion, where you have a lot of fine professors and teachers, but it's the executives that are, you know, kind of robbing all the money and getting all the raises uh, who are ruining Patrick, the system. Patrick, hold on a second. Patrick, why, why would these people sabotage their own product in, when you're trying to save someone's life? Right. Money. I mean, it always comes down to the same thing. Is there a conflict of interest? Conflict of interest, yes. They wanted money more than they wanted to see patients cured. That was the conflict. So what is the, t tell us what the status is now with your, with your son's illness. How is his health and have they made any progress? Yes, uh, my son, who they said would make it to 14, is now 32. He wow. transfuses many days. Um, he's great, he's a lion, he's fantastic. And we're getting ready to go back into patients. Yeah, Sloan Kettering, just to give their side of the story, said that you were in over, you were a nice guy trying to help his son, but you were in way over your head. Uh, yeah. Is that, is there, is that an, an accurate description? Yeah, I don't think I know how to swim unless I'm over my head. But um, in the end, the case was settled in November of 2020, and we proceed and we have the medicine back. So um, I'm very happy about that. Sloan Kettering is a wonderful institution, a lot of wonderful people. The, the executives, uh, I guess we could have another idea about, but it's a wonderful institution. Real quickly, the title of the book, what, what is the meaning behind that? Sure. Um, so to do the experimental medicine, I had to move my family to Italy because in the United States, it cost about 70000 for 30 days of uh, therapy, and he had to be hospitalized. My oldest son had to be hospitalized, so I moved to Italy where my grandparents came from. I lived 20 miles away from their hometown. My sons lived there as well. And um, in our town, there's a bird called the Rondone, uh, which flies from Africa at the end of March. 
and he, up to 140 miles an hour. The thing about these birds is they have very short bodies and very long wings, so they can't land on the ground. They have to land on something that's two or three stories high so they can throw themselves in the wind. Whenever they land on the ground, someone has to pick them up and throw them as high, high as they possibly can so they, they can begin you know, batting their wings. And so in my lifetime, especially in Chicago, Judge Clarence Bryant, when I was 16, at 61st and Racine, he sent me to, to the military. Uh, Big Mama, when I worked washing dishes at Northwestern Hospital. These are people that saved my life over and over again. And so I saw them kind of like the same people mm. in our town, pick up their own dome and throw them back into the wind. And that's exactly what happened to me. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I'm so glad your son is doing well. Uh, the book is The Flight of Rondone. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you, and God bless for the good work that you guys do. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. And there's the information on your screen for more information.